What's up everyone, this is going to be an unboxing of the Intel Core i7 3770K Ivy Ridge processor. This is a 3.5 gigahertz processor and it on turbo boost it goes up to uh, 3.9 gigahertz. So let's open this right here, break the seal and we should be good. Oh. Try to get my finger under there. There you go. Alright. So, actually, here I'll show you the outside of the box first. Since it's a small box, you can't hardly see it. There's a the front, back, nothing much on it. And there's a processor at the top. Um, let's slide this out. If it ever will slide out. There we go. All right, you got a user manual right here. And sorry, everything's so small and far away. I had this set up for like motherboards and other unboxings too, so. There's a cooler that comes with it. I will get this out first. Little small cooler, uh, nothing too fancy since, since it comes with the actual processor. Um, and See if we can't slide this out right here. And there's the actual processor. So, not much to an unboxing of a processor, but I guess I'll go over some of the um, some of the details with you real fast. This is an i7, so for those of you that don't know, I, the difference between i7s, i3s, and i5s, i3s, core i3s, are dual core, but they're hyper-threaded, so they can have up to four virtual uh, cores. Um, i5s are quad core, but they're not hyper threaded, so they're stuck with just four cores. And um, and i7s are quad core, but hyper threaded, so you can have up to eight virtual cores. That's pretty much the main difference between them. Uh, this has up to eight megabits in L3 cache, 64 bit support, of course, hyper threaded support, of course, because it's i7. And it is Ivy Bridge. So, for those of you don't, that don't know, that's the predecessor, or not the predecessor, the successor to the uh, Sandy Bridge processors. All right, so that's pretty much it. And so there you go. That's what you get with it: is the fan, and or the fan slash cooler and the the processor, of course. All right, so I'll catch y'all later.